Hi, my name is Philip Brown, and I'm here to report on rookie phenom Zion Williamson. Early reports indicate that he's out six to eight weeks with a lateral meniscus tear, not the medial which we've seen other, other athletic superstars go down with, such as Blake Griffin and Russell Westbrook, but it's going to be the outside of the knee on that meniscus right there. That's a tougher meniscus tear than the inside because you have so much pressure as you cut and as you jump on that side of the meniscus. So hopefully that injury doesn't plague him. I know for myself, I've had that injury before and it plagued me throughout the rest of my career. I would have to get my knee drained several times throughout the season. I would have to get cortisone shots. I would have to get gel inserted to my knee to add lubrication to that knee. So hopefully he doesn't go through the same thing. One thing that I hope that his doctors do for him is that I hope that they end up uh, stitching that piece of the meniscus that's torn back to the meniscus and they don't shave it down. As you continue shaving that meniscus down, it's going to add less and less cushion on that knee. And with him being so athletic and so bouncy, he needs as much cushion on that knee as possible. You know, I, I, I have my meniscus shaved down and right now after having several meniscus uh, uh, tears after the after the first one and then kept having to shave down I am now bone on bone so I don't wish that on that young guy right now he's still only 19 20 years old right now so I hope they find a way to, to stitch that meniscus back down and that'll add longevity to his career but as I said before Zion Williamson is out six to eight weeks as of right now with the lateral meniscus tear uh, usually you come back strong from meniscus tears not a super super uh, serious injury but uh, it could have effects later on in his career. So I'm wishing a speedy recovery, and I'm looking for him to do great things this season and on into his future. Once again, my name is Philip Brown. Thank you.